Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I am finally doing my first villager hunt on the island of Sugar Shore. So I'm really excited because this is our first, it's our first purposeful villager that's moving in. And obviously if you guys have been keeping up with my other videos, um, in this video I'm going to be looking for a tropical villager. I'm really excited because I really hope I can find someone good and um, there's a lot of villager hunting videos that I need to do that are going to be coming up here soon because of all these plots that I'm putting down. So I have all these Nook Mile tickets with me so I'm hoping I don't need more than this to find some kind of cute tropical villager. So as I'm going on this hunt, I'm going to be reading to you guys what villagers I'm specifically looking for. Um, just to kind of narrow it down for you guys. I'm honestly okay with any tropical villager for this first hunt, but I'm going to be telling you guys who I'm specifically looking for while I go. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and read you guys my dreamy list. So my dreamies for this island are Flora, Julia, Marina, Zucker, Audie, Nana, Lily, Puddles, Daisy, and Rald. And I know that Rald is not tropical, but he's my favorite villager and I would like to bring him back to this island, so he is on my list. And since this is my first official villager hunt, Wilbur is blabbering off more than usual. Wow, this is so pretty. So many flowers and butterflies here. All right, let's see who our first, um, our first victim is. Oh no. It is a squirrel. It's a squirrel. It's Agent S. I don't think I've ever seen this little dude or girl. I, I don't know whoever this person is. Yeah, that's not gonna... We're not gonna go with you. I'm sorry. You are not on my list. So, first island fail. Let's keep going. Let's see who we can find. Okay guys, I'm hoping this isn't going to be a two-hour villager hunt because not really in the mood for that today, but I usually don't have the best luck on these villager hunts, so I'm trying to keep an open mind. And we got a sheep. I'm pretty sure that's a willow. But again, not certain, so I'm going to go check. Yep, it's willow. She's cute, but I've just never felt the need to get any sheep villagers. Um, and this theme, like this island theme is not is not very suitable for sheep, so I will probably not be getting any sheep villagers anytime soon. So I'm sorry about that. But that's just not gonna work for me. I'd be really stoked to get like an octopus on this villager hunt because I've always really wanted an octopus villager, especially Marina. Marina is like number one on my list, but knowing my luck, I'm probably not going to find her anytime soon, but she's perfect for a tropical themed island. Okay, island number three. Please do not let me down. Okay, it's not bad. It's a koala bear. Um, It's Yuka. I see. Okay. Yuka's cute, but I'm not taking her. Um, we're not taking her. Also, if you guys are wondering why the heck Audie is on my list, she has a very tropical looking home and she also wears very tropical clothing uh, from what I've seen. And I've always wanted Audie as one of my villagers, but now I have like more of an excuse to get her, I feel like. And she's just really cute. She's like a little wolf that looks like a fox and I just think she'd be really cute. Even though the villager herself isn't very like tropical looking or a tropical animal, her house is tropical and that's enough for me. Oh gosh, you guys know how I feel about the ant eaters. They're not my favorite, but this one's actually pretty colorful looking. The name is Pango, but again, I'm not looking for ant eaters. I'm sorry. You're not on my dreamy list, um, so we're just gonna keep moving along. Okay, I think this is island number five now. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of already losing count. But we got an orange tree island, and I can already see that we got another anteater. 
So I'm going to go ahead and collect some of these orange trees because I want a bunch of orange trees on my island. I'm going to go ahead and dig some of these up and then I'm just going to leave the island because I'm not looking for this villager. I don't even care what their name is at this point. I've gotten two anteaters in a row. That's already a bad sign. Um, it's bad luck for me. So. so yeah, I'm just gonna pick up some of these orange trees and then continue on my merry way. Also, if I get a bamboo island, I can get a bunch of bamboo. So there's always positives for the islands that I don't find a villager that I don't like. Oh gosh, I'm so scared. Who am I gonna get? Wait. Wait a minute. Okay, guys. I just found Molly. I just found Molly. She's so precious. Okay, so here's the thing. I know that she wasn't on the list that I just listed off. But I've um, actually, I've been wanting a duck. And... Some of my villagers are a bit interchangeable. You know, I have two frogs on here. I can do with just having one frog on the island. And I can like switch her out with on one of the octopi or even like, you know what I mean? Like, I think I'm actually going to take Molly because ducks love water and there's going to be a lot of water on my island. So like she might not count as a quote tropical villager, but I just really want her on my island. And there's gonna be a lot of water and she's gonna love it so i'm gonna go ahead and invite molly this is kind of a twist again she wasn't specifically on my list she was on another list that i had i'm gonna ask her to move to my island because she's so cute how could you not oh my gosh okay i'm so happy and also i have another plot that i'm gonna be putting down um anyways so it honestly i know that this was a short villager hunt but there are so many more villager hunts to come trust me on this uh i will have a lot more because i have a lot more plots to put down so i would consider this a success for my first villager hunt of the island sorry again that this was kind of short but i'm i'm really happy with this so yeah um like I said, stay tuned for more villager hunts for me because there's going to be a bunch. Let me know what tropical villagers or just villagers in general you think I should get for Sugar Shore. Or just let me know who is your favorite villager. Uh, again, if you like my videos and you want to see more from me, uh, you should definitely consider liking and subscribing because it helps me out a lot. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all your support. Um... And yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!